Welcome to the Mama Say Fit YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the importance of being able to hip hinge or being able to rotate the pelvis on top of the femur or the thigh bone to find more internal rotation. Hey, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Gina. I'm a perinatal fitness trainer and birth doula, and I'm one of the founders of Mama Stay Fit. Mama Stay Fit is a perinatal fitness training company, and we offer online prenatal and postpartum fitness training, in addition to in-person prenatal and postpartum fitness training here at our facility located in Aberdeen, North Carolina. And so we're unique in that we train people in person in addition to online. And so our expertise is perinatal fitness training. And so let's break down the importance of being able to rotate your pelvis on top of your femur to change your pelvic position. And this is something that we need to be able to do when we're walking and we're moving our body to change the way that we're distributing force through our body, through our sacrum and our pelvis. And this is gonna help our pelvic joints better align and stabilize during movement. And during pregnancy, this can become more complicated because there's a little bit more movement happening at the pelvic joints and so when we don't know how to move our pelvis on top of the femur and within itself, it could be contributing towards pelvic girdle pain. In addition, being able to hip hinge is really important because it helps to create more space in the bottom of the pelvis. And so when I rotate my pelvis on top of my femur, it's creating more space here in the lower mid pelvis, which is where your baby is going to finish rotating during birth. And so if you have difficulty finding this internal rotation, it can make it harder for your baby to move through the pelvis. And so let's break down two ways that you can figure out how to find a hip hinge. And so the first thing is, what does a hip hinge look like? Essentially, we're shifting our weight into one leg, and this is rotating that pelvis on top of the femur. And so simply, this can just look like shifting your weight into one leg. In this position, you're gonna feel more of a stretch here in the glute and hamstring, and the other half of my pelvis is rotating towards that front knee. So when I do this shifting motion, I'm feeling more of a stretch all through this area. And now I can enhance that by standing on top of a block. So this can help you move deeper into that hip hinge if you're having a hard time feeling the shifting motion. And so you'll step on top of the yoga block, place one foot on top of it, keep weight in that leg as you shift the hips back. And then I'm gonna think, bend in the support leg to rotate that pelvis towards that front leg. And so I'm feeling more of a stretch here in this glute and in this hamstring. And so I'm rotating my pelvis on top of the femur to feel that stretch. And so what this looks like from the front is I'm gonna hinge my hips back, keeping weight in that leg. And then the opposite leg is going to bend as I rotate the belly towards that, keeping weight in the leg on top of that block. And this is gonna be bringing me into that hip hinging motion. And again, feeling that stretch here and that glute and hamstring. Now, if you're still having a hard time feeling this with the yoga block, we can use some additional props, such as a foam roller. Next, you're gonna take a foam roller and you're gonna push it into a wall or a sturdy structure and then place the foam roller on the inside of the leg. And what this is gonna be doing is it's gonna be increasing activation of the adductor muscle or that inner thigh, which is key to finding that internal rotation in that hip ship. And so from here, I can first think, open my hip, so I'm gonna to rotate towards the wall. I should feel this muscle back here tighten. And then I'm gonna rotate that pelvis towards that femur. And so I'm just rotating my belly towards my thigh. I'm gonna feel more of a hip shift through this leg. And I can just rotate back and forth there to feel the difference of this internally rotated position versus this externally rotated position. And so this is gonna help me find more movement in my pelvis and give me a sensation to seek in my other movements. After this isometric movement, you can add a little bit more. So I could take this back leg. If I need to, I can hold on, and I'm gonna bring it over as I step forward. And this movement is bringing me in to interrotation in this stationary leg. And so I can step forward, rotating my belly towards this front thigh, and then I can step back to find more of an open hip position. So coming forward, is bringing me more into that hip shift on this leg and then stepping back to open up. And so this extra movement can help you find more of that hip shift as well. And so what we're looking for is more of this stretching sensation through this glute in either position. So either here 
with the back leg maintaining a stationary position as you rotate in and out, feeling how it's different between here versus here, or you can add movement by stepping over the foam roller to rotate, which can sometimes be a little bit easier to feel the hip shift as well. And so you can drive the hip back and feel more of the stretch here. And so being able to find a hip shift is really important. And you can do it in pretty much any movement that you are doing, all four, standing, when you're walking, when you're exercising. But if you're having a hard time feeling it, we can use external props to help us move into the position, either standing on a yoga block and shifting into it, or using external prop to increase adduction so that you can do focus on the hip shift. And so once you can feel a hip shift, it's a lot easier to bring into your prenatal workouts, which is gonna help to support a more comfortable pregnancy, in addition to help prepare you for birth by helping you learn how to open the bottom half of your pelvis. And so if you wanna learn more on movements that you can do during your pregnancy to keep you comfortable and then also help you prepare for birth, you can join our online prenatal fitness programs. In our online prenatal fitness programs, we're gonna include strength exercises to keep you strong throughout your pregnancy to keep you functional, pelvic stability exercises to keep you pain-free and comfortable, and then also pelvic opening exercises like these hip shifts to help you open the pelvis as you prepare for birth. And you can use code YouTube10 to get 10% off any of our online fitness programs in addition to our online childbirth education course, which you can bundle with our prenatal fitness programs to save an additional 15% off. You can explore all of our prenatal fitness programs at mamasayfit.com slash fitness programs, or you can explore our bundles at mamasayfit.com slash childbirth. And so if you like this video, be sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you get notified whenever we release new videos. If there's any movement that you're wanting to learn more about, be sure you drop a comment below and let us know what you're looking for. If you had any questions or if you needed more explanation on how to find a hip ship or why this was even important, can be really helpful so that we know what videos you're looking for.